welcome back to my channel. Today we are back at Disney California Adventure for the Festival of Holidays Part 2. We're here to use the rest of our tabs, hopefully, and try some food items that we haven't tried before and just roam around and enjoy the holiday season. I've got my little food goblin right here. <laughs> Apparently we're not full enough from Thanksgiving. It is Thanksgiving weekend and so we're just here to enjoy the holidays. Anyways, let's get ready. So right here is a one of the booths and it's an area that's quiet and right off the bean path, which is pretty cool. So you got some tables back here. It's right across from Grizzly River Run and the beautiful water fountain, or waterfall, not fountain. But it's like nice and cozy. I love to show little hidden spots for you to come and get away from the crowd. And right here, this booth is called Holiday Duets. Perfect pairings curated for your culinary delight. Okay, so my first item is over here at the Holiday Duets. And I believe it's the number, it's the booth number one, but this is shrimp and grits. It's eight dollars. It has andouille sausage, and it looks like green onion, and pretty straightforward. Shrimp and grits. So let's see what this tastes like. Okay, hopefully the lighting is okay, but let me go ahead and try this. There you go. Ooh, thank you. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is good. The grits are really good. The shrimp's awesome. I love seafood. Has a little bit of a light spice, like a pepper to it. I think it's bomb and I think it's worth getting. So definitely recommend this. Oh, and the grits are really creamy. So definitely worth something to try. If you like seafood and if you like grits. So yeah, I love it. Okay, so Kenny went to go get our second food item. But I got this again. Cheers. It is the bourbon drink. And again, we got this last time in our first video. So I'll make sure to put that video in the description below so you guys can check it out and that way you guys can see the full story, the full aspect of what it looks like to come and enjoy the festival of holidays. But this bourbon drink is so popular that there was a long line just to get this. And it's over at Winter Slider Land. So, cheers. Oh, and just to let you know what is in this bourbon drink, just in case you guys don't catch our first video, it is the bourbon cranberry cocktail. Bourbon, cranberry, orange, and cinnamon. And then what I am loving, which gives it that really cool winter vibe, are these candied cranberries. They look like they've been touched with like snow. I love it. Cheers, friend. Okay, so this is our second food item, and Kenny got it from Mary Mashup, which is booth number eight, and it's the Esquites Carnitas Mac and Cheese. It is featuring a couple different cheeses with spice puffed rice. Huh? How do I say like Rice Krispies like the cereal? Interesting. Now, I don't like a lot of dairy, so I'm gonna have a little bit of this, and I will let you guys know what I think. All right, let's get into this. Okay, that was incredible. I don't even like cheese. Well, I love cheese, but I can't have cheese. So for all my lactose dairy-free friends out there, this is really good. You get a decent amount of the meat on there, also, <laughs> also, it has a kick to it. 
and I love spicy food. So if you love spicy the way I love spicy, this is so good. It's got a great kick, great spice. It's not overly saturated with lots of cheese, so you're not gonna feel like it's uber greasy or too cheesy. To me, it's really good. And the corn, just some corn in there, it kind of gives it some crisp, so some great texture. Definitely, definitely worth it. It's eight bucks, so try it. right here and always remember when you wish upon a star sing with me your dreams Winter Slider Land actually, and I got the beef hot roast on potato roll with horse, horse, blah, 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 with horse radish cream. And what I love is that when you pick up the little guide, it actually lets you know uh, different things that are going to be helpful to when selecting your food items. So for instance, right here it has a little red ornament, and that is to let you know that this is considered kid-friendly. Okay, so that was really good. I definitely enjoyed that. The bread is so soft, it's so good, and you can actually get a lot of, um, of the meat, of the pot roast on the sandwich. You can't taste the horseradish too much. It's, it's lightly drizzled on there, but it's definitely really good, and I would definitely recommend getting this. Oh, and what I love is that when you go to the booth and you purchase your food items, there's a little tiny Mickey head that's on there that kind of lets you know what holiday celebration that particular food is celebrating, and this one is celebrating Christmas time. So, there you go. Definitely worth getting, I would recommend. It's, it's a good portion of food uh, for the tab, so yeah. All right, so we're headed into Radiator Springs. And again, we're gonna do a different video on Radiator Springs specifically, but we're on our way to hit up some rides. Pick up a drink over at Flo's Cafe. I just wanna show you guys the walkthrough of this. Oh my gosh, look how cute this is with Mater's. I love the way they decorate Radiator Springs. It's so great. Literally, it's probably the most decorated little area in DCA. Look at that Santa hat. Look how cute that is. And then you just got some great garland. I mean, this is reminds me of like the old school tinsel garland. Do you guys remember that? That in flocked trees. I should count how many Christmas trees you guys can actually find here at both parks. This is a Christmas tree of tires. And this is Sarge's Surplus Hut. It's patriotic and Christmas all rolled into one. And another Christmas tree. Red, white, and blue. I love it. Freedom! And look how cute. And they even have this tree decorated red, white, and blue too. Beautiful. So pretty. And 
And look it! It's Christmas Mater! This is one of my favorite things, is you can take photo ops when these cute car characters come out. They had him dress up for Halloween. And right now, he has his Santa hat on. One of the things I love about Disney is they're always creating great photo ops for friends and family. So to my knowledge, there aren't any booths here for you to try some of the festival holiday foods, but it's still so beautiful. So they get a little view. Again, I'm loving the decor. Look at how cute. So the garland is actually adorned with little tiny, look at these cones. They're cones. It was, they were cones. <laughs> and I don't know if you guys have ever taken the time to look at how the detail, the detail that Disney puts into their entire, all their lands. I mean, I'm talking from making these planters, upside down cones, and then even decorating for Christmas. So look at this. It's this little setup. You can't go in. It's just for you to look, but you've got lights that are also cones. parking cones. You've got this really adorable Christmas tree with that gold garland. You've got some more Christmas decor. You've got this little sculpture, like a model of Cozy Cone. This great checkered orange tile. Long for service. Super cute. It's those little things that really sets Disney apart and then I love it and just makes every square inch of this place feel like Christmas. I just realized those instead of gingerbread homes, those are gingerbread cones that you can look like they were made. Like when you make a gingerbread house, but instead you can make gingerbread cones. Gingerbread cones! I love it! A little gingerbread cone village. All right, guys, as we wrap things up over here at Cars Land, we're just enjoying all of the Christmas decor. So this video is obviously not very long. We kind of came in, wanted to use some of our tabs, enjoy some more treats, some more food items. That way it gave you guys kind of a bigger picture of what you guys can expect when you guys come. So I'll definitely link that first video that we did, which was way more in depth, in the description below. But I just wanted to show you guys uh, some more options and just kind of want to come and enjoy the Thanksgiving Day weekend here at DCA during Christmas time. So hopefully you find this helpful. All right, guys, well, that's gonna do it for us tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed our part two of Festival of Holidays and our food review. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. But we're just enjoying the rest of our night exploring DCA and just enjoying the holiday season. So with that friends, remember you are loved, you are valued, you my friend bring something to the table. Until next time, bye.